Instagram was popping. Well, probably my microphone, by the way. By the way, you're seeing the shadow of my microphone. Always something. Let's get this right. Okay. So, as you know, All-Star Weekend was last weekend, so much fun. Honestly, that game, that weekend, it was good for basketball, it was good for the culture, it was good for everything. But, what I wanna talk to you about is the special between Shaq and Kobe. Did you guys watch it? You better have watched it. Oh my gosh! We learned so much that even I didn't know, and I've stalked both of them pretty thoroughly. But it was so interesting because in the special, honestly, that was this distracting. <laughs> Can we fix that better? See guys, we're solving life's problems together. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so in the special, we found out that, wait, where was I? <laughs> oh my God, I need help. All right guys, just in case you missed any of the special, it was players only on TNT, I think. I'm gonna go over like the top bullet points. Number one, Shaq finally admitted that he used to take it easy over the summer because he knew he had a killer on his team in Kobe. So because I had you, I was able to just chill out in the summer, do what yeah, I do. Yeah, see, that's what, yeah. that's what pissed me off. <laughs> Straight up, thank you for admitting this, we all knew it. And then they talked about when Mitch Kupchak announced that Shaq like, was up for sale, basically, because they were gonna trade him. Shaq said he drove down to Staples Center and was about to choke Mitch out. By the way, guys, little insider knowledge. As most of you know, I do have friends that either work for the Lakers or did. I'm not gonna name any names, but <laughs> they told me Shaq had quite the temper and even like lunged at them one time. <laughs> I love it, but see Shaq, this is why we love you, straight up. So with that special that came out, I thought what better time than now to sit down, look at some of the best moments between Shaq and Kobe and reminisce. Shall we? Every time, so you gotta keep him in front of you. Oh, Brian, over the final meal. The Dang. shot has okay. This is a game between the Lakers and. This is crazy, this is so old. So one thing is that when you react to older clips on YouTube, unfortunately the quality sucks. Uh, that's okay, this is a game between the Lakers and the New Jersey Nets. My have times changed. <laughs> By the way, what's crazy, I want you guys to really watch this and just see how different the NBA was back then and how it is now. And keep in mind, this is just the early 2000s. Like, it's not a joke when people say the NBA has gotten soft. Hey. You guys, look at this, look at this. Ooh. They just don't make them like that anymore. It's crazy because Kobe hated Shaq, and in that special, Kobe said he wanted people to know he could exist without Shaq, and he could win championships without Shaq, which he did. But honestly, name a better duo, and I'll wait. You know what, I don't have that much time because you know you can't do it. Like, there was just this chemistry and bond between them. You just can't. Man, can't make that up. Now let's skip forward to some of their nasty moments when Shaq got traded to the Heat. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Kobe straight up shoved Shaq? Watch. Dang, we've come a long, long way. And when I say we, I mean um, me, Shaq, and Kobe. I'm, I'm part of the trio, but it's just crazy. I'm really happy that the two of them can sit down now and have these great moments. But also, can we talk about how great Kobe's doing as a reporter? I mean, I know he's not a reporter, but he is transitioning over into being like a storyteller. He's doing really good. Kobe, if you need any tips, I mean, <laughs> call me. Guys, I'm going to not make this as cringe as I probably would if I if I continue to do this but I just want to say I love you all so much thanks for sitting back and reminiscing with me here I go the thing is while I do I really do love and enjoy this kind of modern era of sports which we're all part of but there's just something about going back and watching moments of the past and just seeing I don't know that older era there's just it's vibey you know what I mean like the thing about this new era of especially the NBA, we need to get our vibe back. It's gotten, it's competitive for sure, which is great, but it's like kind of gotten dull. I mean, it's getting better. It's getting better. That's why you see things like what happened this weekend over All-Star. You're starting to see more of the Draymond Green. He's really bringing a physicality back to the game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
may be too physical. Those moments are definitely spicing things up, but I don't know, we just need to get vibey again, like this. I love you fam. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for your daily dose of fun, nostalgia. You never know when you're on this channel. <laughs> All right fam, I'll see you tomorrow. Much love, peace. Oh yeah, and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, that'd be great. At Taiwan on Sports.